And we're back for the 20 minute lunge challenge today. <laughs> Let's go. So Thomas had brought up, as you guys just heard me say, that for his zone two, he was doing 20 minutes of walking lunges, which to anyone that has done a lunge before, lunges in any sense uh, <laughs> are a lot of fitness. So we are, I'm interested to see if this will really be zone two. In my mind, it is just a great, Erica, and we're back. In my mind, it is just a great fitness challenge. I'm gonna say this disclaimer one more time. If you are, if you do not lunge often, or it's not programmed often for you, maybe start with a five minute lunge challenge, maybe even a minute, a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. Maybe don't just jump into 20. If you are familiar with this style of fitness and you want a challenge today, Aria, this will, I feel like this will be like right up your alley. You can jump into the 20 minute lunge challenge. You can do body weights. You can do them as walking. You can do them as step back. We'll go through that. You can throw a vest on. If you want to do the vested, I believe Thomas does them in a vest. So. Yes, Diane. <laughs> Aria, how are you? How was your anniversary? I'm glad you stopped by to say hi. All right, team. Let me send some links out here. Anyone want to join on the live? You are welcome. Rock and roll time. So we're about to start our lunge challenge team, 20 minutes. Uh, so you guys can do this body weight. You can jump in right now. What are you doing? Start a lunge challenge. How about to start with a minute? If you feel good, go to five. If you're still alive after five, 10. <laughs> if you're not familiar with lunging, I would, have to have, I would suggest you stop at that point. If you're very familiar with fitness, go to 20. All right, let's see if this link works. Oh, good, Aria. I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, Aria, my arms, that pump session, inspired by Willie, Willie in the pump sessions. We hadn't done one in a while, so it was time. We had a, a brutal two days of, good brutal days of workouts. So, hey, James. I mean, uh, we can always end with core if you guys want. I'm always here for more core. Aria, it was a fun one, if you're interested. Thomas, Thomas, let's see. How do I put you on here? Okay, hold on. Uh, listen, I don't know what that means. Okay, let's see. Thomas, I'm going to add to scene. Add to scene. All right. Thomas, would you like to explain to everyone how you came up with this uh, 20 minute of lunges? Thanks, James. You too. Uh, so I didn't come up with it. No? There, no. So there's a guy I used to follow a lot back in my bodybuilding days. His name's Corey Gregory. He was the CEO of Muscle Farm. Now he's the CEO of Max Effort Supplements. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he, he always does these. Um, and so I did them a lot bodybuilding wise and then in the last few months i was just trying to find more ways to to do different cardio um and so i was like oh, okay i'll do 20 minutes of walking lunges um i think he goes much further than that but i was like i'll just do 20 minutes and it was good it's fun and so i, I do it now at least a few times a week okay so explain to you because you keep hearing me say this disclaimer of mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with lunging where would you tell people to start because you know this, this is a lot. Like lunging makes people very sore. So I just want sure. people to know, like, if you've never done lunges, I I think I think if if you if you can do a mayhem workout that has lunges, you could easily mm -hmm. do ten to fifteen minutes. If you mm -hmm. don't lunge, like this is like I lunge once a year, I would maybe do five minutes. Okay. Um, and then if you're someone who considers themselves pretty pretty competitive, and and uh, I I mean. I would say even people I know who are in really, really good shape get smoked at 20 minutes. So like at the end of 20 minutes, some people start cramping up and like, Oh like, my gosh. Like, like the next day is expecting my legs to be so sore <laughs> tomorrow. It's, it's, uh, it's rough. It hurts. I mean, it's good though. It, it's, it's, 
like I feel like the biggest thing on it is is just consistent pace. So mm -hmm. like if someone comes out and they're sprinting it, you're gonna have a terrible, terrible time. Okay, so that's great um, advice. So does so everyone's clear. You just heard what Thomas said. Pace. So Thomas, can you show us what your pace is probably going to yeah, look like? Yeah, sure. And also, so, can you talk about if you're doing a vest or no vest? It kind of, so, uh, I mean, I, I'm more than happy to do a vest. It kind of depends. I, I'll do one day with a vest, another day not. It just depends on how, like, my legs feel. Okay. Because um, I'd rather get through the 20 minutes than stop, but that's yeah. just, that's more of a, a, a pride thing. But <laughs> how, how I do it is, and it's, and it's kind of cut off, and I apologize, but I have about 12 feet going this way. Um, okay. And what I do is I, I will literally just lunge across. I'll get to the end of my mats. I'll turn around. I'll go back. I don't. I don't rest. Okay. Uh, so I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Um, I'll start this way because it's easier to see. So I'm just gonna stay upright. I touch. I'm up. I touch. So I get about three steps. I turn. And I immediately start back up again. Okay. And that, that's my pace. And I'll keep that pace the entire time. Okay, and notice he's doing like a full range of most motion on his lunge, meaning he's he's standing tall at the top. So he is extending his hips at the top. Um, Thomas, so question for you, a little, yeah. a little bit of singing. Too. Um, can I do step back lunges or do I need to do walking? I can I can do either, but just for the sake of you know chatting and all so that. So I, in my opinion, I think it's it's a different stimulus. Okay. And I say that because a step back. If I step back lunge. I feel like I'm using different muscles. Uh, I'm trying to think here. If, I, so if I'm walking forward. I mean, I, I'm all about solidarity. If, if it's walking, I'll just walk back and forth. And if I, I mean, need to do some what, stuff. What, what you can do is you just grab your phone and you just read the comments and talk as you go. You know? <laughs> this is true. I, I'm up for that. I mean, I'll be there eventually, too. Well, or, okay, I mean, so it's, it's up to you. If, if, if you want to do your step back lunges so you can chat with everyone and be able to chat with me and stuff, I'm not, I'm not against that. <laughs> I'm going to do walking. I'm interested to see if I'm going to be upright at the end. You'll, Let me grab my be, vest real quick. I'm going to do a couple. Fine. We'll go through a couple reps just so people can see what we're standardizing as a lunge. And uh, then we'll get this going. I can't wait. Hey, Little Bear, come here, bud. Alex is going to hop on, right? I mean, he's home. He's messaging. What was that, Thomas? I mean, I see Alex is on and messaging, so I assume he's hopping on with us, right? Uh, yeah, Alex. No excuses. Uh, he's at home. He got his chat. kids. Yeah. Oh, you Alex, are going I vest. Oh, boy, grab a vest oh, and uh, start lunching here, buddy. No excuses. I mean, Alex asked for hard asked for hard work That's two days in a row, Alex. <laughs> Hey, that's true love and friendship, Thomas. When and Alex, Alex, if you pull over on the side of the road to uh, keep your friend accountable via message, I mean, I, I call that true friendship. <laughs> Alex is Alex is a great Alex is a great dude. Um, awesome, awesome guy. And the, 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 the thing, Alex the thing, the thing I love about Alex is him and I have the same level of sarcasm. <laughs> yes. And. I like it because even, I mean you're you're on our other chats too, and him and I mm -hmm. can just give each other so much crap, and it's <laughs> it's never like it's never like ill intent or anything like that. It's just a good time between buddies. I, I like. I Alex mean, that's a lot. why I always say we're a group of fitness bullies, not the yes. bad kind of bully, but the good <laughs> kind of bully. People uh, that make you do silly things like twenty minutes of lunging straight. Twenty minutes lunges. I mean, I I hope that I. No, I don't actually hope that I am doing dead bugs on the ground after this, but I I'm would. Excited. No, I mean, I mean, that's important. So anyone who is doing this, when you are done, stretch, roll out, lots of water. I mean, the whole bit, anytime you start any kind of fitness thing, right? Because it's, it's just different and it's rough and, and you're going to, you're going to feel, you're going to feel really special tomorrow uh, <laughs> when you get up and you try to do things. But <laughs> Wise words of Thomas, you are going to feel really special tomorrow. Super special. Although, actually, on that note, Thomas, you wear knee sleeves. I might grab my knee sleeves real quick. Go for it. I am not wearing knee sleeves. You're not? Oh no. I, I know. I, really. well, I, Thomas um, must have really healthy knees. <laughs> I, put down, I put down these yoga mats. Um, I'm just – I'm really I'm really just careful when I put my knee down. I'm not slamming it down. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really careful. I'm not uh, – now, when I do, like, a, 
if I'm doing like a workout, like mayhem workout, and I'm going for time or something like that. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Absolutely, I wear knee sleeves. Yeah. Um, but on something like this, I'm just I'm just trying to be careful. I'm just trying to move, <laughs> so I'm not I'm not hyper concerned. If it starts hurting, I'll slip them on, but I'll stop That's my fair. timer, put on my knee sleeves, right. go extra time, so Alex doesn't call me later about it. Well, at, well, Alex is a level three coach. I didn't realize you're a level three coach, Alex. That's awesome. Alex, what are your, mm -hmm. what's your perception on the step back lunges versus lunging forward? I was only going to do step back for the sake of being able to converse for the 20 minutes because you guys know me, Chatty Cathy, but I, I don't think... want to, I, I just want to make sure they're not easier is really what oh, I'm going for. I think 100% they're easier. I'm not a you... level three. Let's look to Alex. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, uh, well, I think there's the, there's coordination and in. balance involved on walking uh, a little more than true. there is. Maybe not. I, but I feel like, okay. like I don't know. Do do a few step back and then do a few like walking and see if you feel like there's a different, like a different. I don't, I don't want to say stimulus, but more of like um, muscle involvement. Let's see, Thomas. Why don't you tell everyone? So if you also are having knee issues or other issues, Thomas threw out this challenge earlier in the week, and another tribe member did this. To vary to di a different variation because I don't know if George is it was a knee thing for George or if he just had it's a, a it's, a, it's it's a knee thing for George. So I told George to do um, max farmers carry. On. He has a he has a uh, assault runner like I do, and so I did I did that last year. And I told George this: I will never give George a workout that I won't do myself. So he did mm -hmm. he did twenty minute max farmer's carry i think he did it with two 35 pound kettlebells and he got he got like over 2,000 meters which is awesome that's hard to do because you put it down like you're smoked it hurts <laughs> okay <sighs> well no you're right i feel like walking are harder it's different <laughs> yeah I tell, i'm telling Gosh. i mean so so i mean are you on your camera are you on a laptop or what are I'm, you on i'm on my laptop do you does your laptop have bluetooth uh, it does, yeah. Do you have AirPods or a different? Oh, that's true. I, I mean, that's, I can still hear you and see you guys. Okay. And here's the thing: I'm gonna go like one thing as a distance runner, as an endurance athlete. I am very paced, so my last couple, I'll just I'll be able to chat and holler, and I can hear you just fine because I have it loud. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. I just, I, that's, I threw on AirPods for this specific reason so I could chat with you at the same time. So I'm not like. Okay, I am gonna grab my knee sleeves since yeah. I'm doing walking lunges, fitness. Hey, bully there you Thomas. go. Fitness <laughs> bully Thomas. <laughs> Alex agreed though. I and know. I, and, and I agree with Alex. If I had no space, I think step back is is probably the better one. Step forward lunges are really just easy if you're going forward and then coming back. Mm. Not not. I, I mean, I I agree. I guess I had. Although now I feel like I'm going to make everyone do I'm trying to find a place where I can put this clock. So anyone that's doing this at a later point. This might be the worst idea Thomas has ever had. Just saying, Alex, I don't think you've seen enough of my Saturday workouts. Uh, he programmed This, this uh, is pretty mild. I've had two different 64-minute EMOMs that were pretty bad. <laughs> we do your do Saturday sometime. workouts have a name yet? No, no, we just, it's just Saturday morning comp class. And it, well, it's funny because I, ha I had some people who even came talk to me after the last open workout who were like, man, you've programmed something similar to this a lot. I'm like, yeah, because I love wall walks and I love double unders and I like we lifting heavy. Always going to show up. So that always is, uh, you, well, they can just say thank you for that, you know? No, they were, they were stoked for it because it was, it was, <laughs> it was a similar, it, it was just a similar stimulus. Like they've done it before. Yeah, definitely. But all like right. and it, and like when you think about it, you're like, all right, guys, we do sixty minute continuous workouts on Saturdays. Like six minutes is not that bad. Like you're not gonna die. You can you can get through it. Yeah. All right, I'm grabbing my sleeves for real, and then we're gonna get our twenty minute lunge challenge underway, team. I'll get I'll get my clock ready. This is your non-weight vest day, or it is your weight vest day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do weight vest with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
just making sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I, tomorrow, tomorrow, since tomorrow is like active recovery. Okay. Um, I'm fine to do it today. <laughs> Alex says, uh, this might be the worst idea Thomas has ever had. Alex, I, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to be so interested to see if I'm going to be in a full body cramp at the end, but I'm excited. I'm excited. So, so I, that's what? why challenges, I find challenges exciting. Like we have to do things to challenge ourselves to see where we're at. And this, this is one of those tests that I think it, it's fun to see where you're at. What, that being what said, is you your know, heart rate? A lot, so. We do lunge a lot. What's your heart rate for zone two? Uh, based on my whoop, it's much lower than I wanted to say it's between like, is it between 120 and 140? Does that make sense? Or what's your zone two? I don't know. Let me pull it up real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have a heart rate monitor anymore. So I base off feel. <laughs> Right, so right. Like, which is like when I messaged you, and I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's zone two is because I'm not out of breath. I can hold the conversation right. the whole time, but I am, I am significantly like fatigued. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, yeah. I'm not fatigued where I can't talk. I'm not gasping for air. I'm just, it's hot. You know? Yes. So it's saying zone two, sixty to seventy percent. Uh, well, it's interesting because I was listening to I love uh, Peter Atia's podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to Alex, you crack me up. And he talks a lot about, because he was like a long time endurance athlete. And he says there's actually a lot of misconceptions about what zone two actually is. Sure. He thinks that like people have it mixed up. And I can't remember his exact language for that. But I also feel like it's, when I looked at it on Whoop, it seemed like it wanted it to be higher than I thought. Like, because hmm. I feel like running will get my heart rate pretty high but on a biker it really takes a lot of effort to get my heart rate up super high so sure because like 140 is not chilling like you have to be moving to you're get moving the heart rate. Yeah, yeah yeah for sure so, well, it's for the double your resting heart rate so right your resting heart rate is probably what you're in the 40s what'd you say what's your resting heart rate like 40 50 um, 30 i'd probably 20? say like 50s, 60s, that sort of thing. My resting heart rate is a lot higher for some reason. I've been actually doing a lot of research on that too. Yeah, because I feel like for some reason high? it's higher. I don't know why. See, mine's mine's like really, really low to the point I got worried for a while. What was it? What is it? I'm in the 40s. <laughs> and I that don't do anything. Low. I'm 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 not I'm not that fit. Like even before I was fit, I've always been low. And like I went to a doctor one time for something else, and they <laughs> like, it, and like, the, well the thing kept beeping because my heart rate was low. Yeah. But I'm fine. I'm not dying. Am I dying, Alex? <laughs> Alex will know. Alex will know if I'm dying. He'll, he'll let you know. Diana, he'll, he'll Willie, anyone else? Do you guys want to jump on the live? You guys are more than welcome. Willie, you can walk backward. You can do 20-minute backward walking challenge with us. Willie's uh, protecting his knees. Or, Willie, you know you can grab uh, some dumbbells and do a farmer's carry. You could go farmer's really carry. light. Or you can walk backwards. Your choice, Willie. We're giving you options here. Or, or you tell your knees to get over it and you just do lunges oh. anyway. Okay, don't Thomas. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, anyone, you guys are more than welcome to jump on. Alex, Diana, Paul, Willie, Larry, if anyone wants to jump on, let me know. I can send you a link. I need someone to chat with. Uh, we're going to do this darn thing here in a, a set. Well, are you so ready? I have a clock ready. Also, What's up? What, um, what do you usually do for your warm up before this, Thomas? Because we did a workout prior to this live starting. We stopped this and so oh, just turned it Yeah. So, so if I were to do this cold, um, I wouldn't. I would, I would be doing, so for, I, I really like the slant board. Um, so I'm doing some slant board warm up stuff for my calves. And then okay. I'll go and do like a nice, I'll, I'll start doing some like squats on the slant board just to get my quads warmed up. Um, and then I'll actually do some, uh, what are they called? Like jumping lunges, like alternating lunges, like jumping mm -hmm. though, pretty dynamic. Um, and I'll do that a few times and then I'll get right into it. So okay. it's not, it's not too much because it is like, I, I do want like my, my glutes warm and things like that. So like, if you have like a, like a hip halo, I think it's a really good idea to get your glutes activated. Um, but I, I don't think you need to do like an extensive warm up just because it mm -hmm. is really slow pace and you'll get warm, but, but no, mm -hmm. get, get, get the glutes activated. Um, I Make like sure the ankle too, good guys. Go. So what he's saying is if you're just getting warmed up for this, find a wall, start with 10 to 20 calf raises. If you want to warm up those knees, if you have a slant board or even a dumbbell, 
Try some heel elevated squats. You guys hear, have heard me say a hundred times, push those knees forward. We just wanna warm up those knees and everything like that. If you have a hip halo, like he's saying, you can start with some side steps, keeping tension on that band if you have a band. We just wanna get those glutes firing, start with some body weight lunges. Um, we just want you guys feeling really good before we get going. Oh, Diane, well, I hope you feel better. Yes, for sure. And, we join and those, Monday. And those knee sleeves are so good at keeping your knees warm too. So mm -hmm. I, I put them on before the warm up. Okay. Well, because so, you're coming from a cold state too, being in Utah. Yeah. Alex, right. thank you for that info too. <laughs> that is, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna find out that um, that podcast on the Zone too. It, it was really good. Alex doesn't believe in Zone too. Has he told you this? No, but it, it kind of corresponds with the whole Peter Atia podcast. Like ah. I said, it the way he describes it is very misunderstood. All right, Will, are you ready? Me, Alex has told me if I'm not sprinting, there's no point in doing cardio. That's what Alex told me one time. Tom, Alex, is that what you believe? I'm pretty sure he said that. I might be making <laughs> oh, Will, but I'm we're so it. proud of you guys too, because you guys get a lot of fitness in. And I understand the knee journey. Like it is, that's why we do so much prehab. You know, you got to take care of them. All right, Thomas, I have a 10 second countdown on my clock. Oh What's my your... gosh, I have a 10 second countdown. Holy cow, you finally got a 10 second countdown. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, all right, I want to restart just... this clock too. So I have it on my wrist and on my... Yeah, Get it all, all of the machines going, guys. All right, Elliot. so we are about to start our 20-minute lunge challenge. I'm sitting down, so I'm not on screen. Elliot, are you going to tell me a nice story while, while we lunch? We're going to have to have all sorts of stories. Willie said he's going to try farmer's carry for a little while. Larry, thank you. All right, team, we are about to start our 20-minute lunge challenge. Thomas, uh, I can't really put on music and talk at the same time because no, I won't you're fine. be able to hear so, you as well. So, so just let's just talk. I can just talk. I, I have no a music little bit of music in the background, oh, but it's weak. it you doesn't go music. louder than that is what I'm getting at. Oh, I gotcha. I'm just hey, you just bring up a topic and <laughs> I can talk nonstop. I'm sure. <laughs> That's all of us. All right, <laughs> Willie's grabbing his dumbbells. Maybe Willie, if farmer's carry gets too crazy, I know <sighs> Willie's had like two days straight of leg workouts and we're fitness bullying him. Nice bully. <laughs> into continuing to move. But Willie's here with us too. Thomas, this is the Thomas 20 minute <sighs> lunge challenge. We're about to get started, guys. Walk, well, we're walking you, lunges. You tell me when, I'll push start. If I throw in a couple step back lunges here and there to talk to you guys, that's why I'm doing that. I'm not trying to get out of lunging forward. You're resting, got it. It's just, it's just checking in. Erica, I'm pretty pumped. I know you will do this down the road and Diana too. All right, Thomas, you ready for our countdown? Hey, I'm waiting for you. Where's Willie? Is Willie ready? I'm going to guess that Willie's ready. He's probably already been ready for 20 minutes. He's, he's already been walking. He's almost done. <laughs> All right, team, we are starting in... You want me to say three, two, one, and then the 10 seconds, Thomas? Yeah, three, two, one, then the 10 seconds, because then we'll, then we'll be roughly on the same. Oh, although I might, I might also pause and take a phone call, but yes. Okay, that's totally fine. All right, guys. 20 minute lunge challenge, starting now body weight or vest in three, two, one. Now we have 10 seconds and we're gonna get this party started. Starting in three, two, one. 20 minutes, team. Thomas, do you count them? Sorry, I muted for a phone call, possibly. Uh, no, I don't count them. So I, 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 long story short, okay. my, my Lexus was leaking coolant. And so uh, the thing with the GX470, like these Land Cruisers, um, after about 100,000 miles, they need their timing belt and water pump replaced. And it got replaced last August, I started oh leaving goodness, coolant guys. just barely. I'm, I'm only 45 seconds in. You're doing great. And I, um, so I didn't think it was that part. So I replaced the radiator and I wake up this morning and it's still leaking. So it's the water pump. So I have to get it fixed again. So I thought I was on a mechanic column. It was Good not. Job, guys. 
I need to take my own advice here and pace better. <laughs> I wasn't even starting too fast, but I was definitely moving. You going too, are you going too quick? Well, not now, but in the beginning. Don't do that. <laughs> Thomas, did you just tell a story or were you on the phone? No, I told you a story. You didn't even listen. <laughs> I thought I thought you were on the phone. No! I was, <laughs> telling, you, tell me I was, telling, I was telling you why I was almost on the phone. <laughs> All I heard was something about a radiator. You start rambling about cars. Don't worry about it. No, I want to hear the story. Oh. <laughs> it's too late now. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to turn the volume up when I get back there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought you were on the phone call. No. And I was like, I didn't know we did work that involved radiators. No. I knew you, what business you're in. All right, I'm turning you guys up real quick. I wish it was at this point, it wasn't involved radiators. Might be easier. All right, guys. I, I'm, I owe like an extra. Oh, wait. Shoot, hold on. I'm just lunging in place here. Thomas, say, will you say something real quick? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, okay, you're still there. I thought I muted you on accident. Well, I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I thought you muted me before when I told my whole story about my car. <laughs> okay, so tell me the car story now. So, basically what happened is, I had a part fixed back in August. Uh-huh. And the other day, my car started leaking coolant, so I didn't think it was that part. I thought it was my radiator. Oh. So I replaced the radiator, go out this afternoon to check on it, and there's coolant all over the ground. Oh, no. So it's the part I have fixed in August is leaking again. So I'm waiting for my mechanic to call so I can go, hey, fix this. Then he'll go, yeah, no problem. $1,000. Thanks, buddy. Here we go. Little Bear, come here, buddy. Little Bear's extremely upset about something. She is. I'm lunging to the dog. I'll be right, right back. Do it. Little Bear, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. She's walking right now. I'm going to pull you. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on. Good girl. Sometimes she just needs some acknowledgement. Oh my gosh. So at what point, when did you first do this, Thomas? Like recently or like overall? Uh, when did you recently start doing it? Uh, probably about a month ago. How long? About a month ago. A month? So what was the sticking point? When did it get hard the first time you did it? Oh, well, about two minutes in. What, what was that? About two minutes. <laughs> well, four to five seconds was a little intimidating. We're almost to five minutes. I think, I think the big thing is, is if you have something you can do to occupy yourself, like talking like this, a podcast, television, it helps. If you like, I, I do it with just music, mm -hmm. um, but it's absolutely terrible. Well, see, your story, me missing the story made five minutes go by. So that see? was like a major plus. <laughs> <laughs> so no, how was like, super were you after the, a month ago when you did it? Oh, man, it was the worst. Uh, really? And it wasn't the next day. It was actually the day after. And okay. so Friday, I go in. And I forget, Mayhem had like back squats or front squats, something like that. Mm -hmm. The workout had squats. It was just, and it was fine actually. Like doing that movement two days later was really, really good. Maybe. But you're sore and you're tight. Well, I, the reason I was so cautious or, you know, you guys heard this workout disclaimer about lunging is uh, lunging, you know, you never want to hear the, the R word, the rhabdo word. But lunging, similar to GHDs and a lot of pull-ups, is something that if you never, ever did them and you went and tried to do 20 minutes, 
Yeah. You know, it's a bigger muscle group, so you would think that that wouldn't happen, but it's still something that you'd have to be just super, super aware of. That's why well, we that's... said. Go on, sorry. I need to... No, that was all. That's why we threw well, out the, you know, if you've never lunged before, do a minute or do five minutes. So I was, um, like I said, I got from the guy, Corey Gregory, and his big thing about it, and I don't know science, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm a finance guy, but <laughs> the thing he said about it was like, look, the, the, what he likes it over like running is he's like, look, you're, you're doing a almost, almost because of the dash, you're doing some weight resistance. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that cardio work, but you're also building muscle, you know? Right. Um, well, so, so you were actually also totally correct thus far. So my heart rate right now, it says is 111. Hey, so never, never been wrong a day in my life, Alex. <laughs> I'm sure Alex would support you in that. Yeah. <laughs> my wife always gets really upset when I say that. These are feeling okay. How are your knees feeling? Oh, my knees feel great. We are about seven and a half minutes in. You don't see, you Allie, you, if you want to make it go by faster, you don't, you don't, you don't say things like that. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Like when you're doing. Oh, we're almost halfway, but not quite. Best of luck. Yeah. You're like 10 seconds in and you're like, what? Yeah. Why? Well, it was like, um, golly, it was 23.2 with the burpees and the bird pulps and, and running 15 Jeez. minutes. You look up and it's only like four minutes and you're like, this sucks so bad. Right. Well, that's like the seven minute of burpee open workout for all of you that yep. just finished the open i remember that year seven minutes Oof. i like i like that one i really hope they do that as a repeat some year do you remember how many you got oh i never did it it was before i started crossfit oh so you haven't yeah. just tried it for fun no i i usually don't just try to do seven minutes of burpees for fun <laughs> oh my gosh I should <laughs> except for 20 minutes of lunges that makes sense to me. And like, I've done a hundred burpees for a time. I can't remember what that was either, but I've done it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like just over a hundred, like a hundred. I want to say it was like in the hundred and seven range or something back then. That's wild. And that, but uh, I don't what know. What year was that? Ooh, it was when I still lived in Florida in Orlando, so early. So it had to have been. 11, not 11, but 12, 13, or 14. And did you make it as an individual to the games before? So my highest finish before I moved to Cookville was 11th in the Southeast region. Oh, awesome. But I mean, that was my goal was to make it as an individual if I hadn't gotten it. Team. Team. It was a fun region. Like we, that was the region when we had a, uh, Helena Fortunato, we had Emily Bridgers, um, Lauren Brooks. It's easy, was it like it was uh, the South was it was a fun region to be in, but it was stacked. I'm trying to remember who's in ours. How long have you been doing CrossFit for now, Thomas? Seven years, maybe. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe a little less than that. I wish I would have done it earlier. For so when 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 college football kind of fizzled out, because um, I broke my ankle, I got super fat. Oh my god! And that's when I switched to bodybuilding. Um, I'll have to I'll send you some before and after stuff. Um, but for whatever reason, like bodybuilding had this weird hate for CrossFit. Yeah. Great job, guys. Um, from so CrossFit, course, or you're saying that bodybuilders didn't had beef with CrossFitters? Bodybuilders just hated hated the idea of CrossFit. Mm -hmm. um, no idea why. Can't really remember. Well, I think CrossFit started out as kind of like a rogue fitness. Like you, no one knew much about it. They just knew it was like quote unquote people that worked out in their garage and probably threw around odd objects. Like it had a very interesting. Sure narrative behind it yeah it was Thanks, we, we just i mean you know how it is like 
and bodybuilders just hated it for the movements. Yeah, and, up, I don't know why. And everything. So when I was doing bodybuilding, refused to do CrossFit. W wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have started way earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but basically what happened is all my bodybuilding food, friends moved away. I switched careers from health and wellness slash personal training to finance and started gaining weight again. Um, was like, oh, I'll get back into bodybuilding. That lasted a day. Um, found a group on, I actually watched one of the documentaries mm -hmm. and went, that looks cool. Got a group on for a local gym. Um, crossed that OUR. They help fund the nonprofit Operation Underground Railroad, saves, saves kids from sex trafficking. So, great gym. Uh, went in, first workout was Fran. That was my, <laughs> That's that was like my a first, sick show. It was my first introduction. Well, but of course they, they scale it for me 100%, right? Like, right. I did empty barbells, jumping pull ups. I actually left frustrated. And because it was easy. Um, <laughs> It's not easy, but what they scaled it to, you know? And yep. so I, I went to like a, just a local global gym right after that, got to the bodybuilding list. Luckily, I came back the next day and it was rowing, deadlifts, bar facing burpees. Um, I love rowing. Deadlift is my strongest lift. I loved it. And so, from that moment, I was, I was there every day. Um, one of the coaches convinced me to compete a few weeks later in that first CrossFit competition, and I, I, I've been hooked since. That's so fun. That's awesome. That's, a, that's an epic CrossFit story. That's how, you know, a lot of people, I'd love to hear how everyone in our crew got started. I think, like, especially you get, you, get, you get people from two sides of the spectrum. Like we talked about, Wrestlers love it for the intensity, right? Mm -hmm. And like I wrestled and I, I can get that. But for me it was the ability to compete, but also having a community. Football's a big community. Go you know, college football, you're your family. Um, used to people. And so I just missed that. And so lifting yeah. by myself was, was the worst. And that's why like, I fell in love with Mayhem Athlete too, was when COVID hit, I just had a kid, so I wasn't going to any gyms. I needed a family, and uh, we did those lives. Yeah. You know, we had, we had that nice little group together, which was still together, and that was big to me. Yeah, so it kept, it, 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 here for sure. Yeah, and so it's just good. It just it kept that for me, and I really liked it. Oh, definitely, and it's funny you say that about wrestlers. A wrestler. Uh, over on the, the TikTok live, you said, I'm a division, I just finished division one wrestling and I want to get into CrossFit. Is it a good fit? Oh, yeah. The pain. They'll love the pain. Wrestling is the most painful, oh, geez, what is this, five or six minute rounds in total? Mm -hmm. I can't remember anyone, it's been a long, long time. And it's like, I'm so, I, when I did it, I was so tired. Right? You get done at the match and you're destroyed. And I'll never forget, there's one match we did, and there was, the JV guys weren't wrestling, this is high school, JV guys weren't wrestling, they were outside, throwing snowballs at buses, <laughs> and our coach found out, so we just finished the match, we got back to the school, and we did an hour of suicides. Oh my gosh. Because those Probably dummies. Suicides. And it was did like, you oh no. runs later. Like you were smoked. Anyway, <laughs> everyone was really well behaved after that, so. <laughs> yeah, wrestling looks so tough. Super athletic. Although I feel like a lot of CrossFitters transition to, uh, or so I've seen, to jujitsu when they're done competing. Yeah, and, and, and that's interesting too, because they're comfortable on the ground. Hmm. I was wondering because I didn't really understand that transition. Yeah, they're they're comfortable being on the ground. It's, it's kind of interesting because in wrestling you're avoiding being on your back. Mm -hmm. Where it seems in jujitsu, I and, and I do not know jujitsu at all, but just by watching, 
you know, they go on guard or whatever it's called on mm. their back. Mm. And so it's kind of like for wrestlers, it seems reversed, but wrestlers are so comfortable yeah. being on a mat. I think they adapt really well. Yeah. Thanks, Diana. We're getting closer. We're almost there. Promise is a perfect storyteller for this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> really, the time has gone, but I'm completely distracted from the way my legs and my butt feel. <laughs> We're almost there. Goodness gracious. Do you dabble in other, any other sports other than CrossFit now, Thomas, or is that your sole focus? Um, oh, I mean, you right? Tactical games are taken off for me. Um, I've realized that I'll never probably move up as much as I want to in CrossFit, um, which is what it is. I'm, just, I'm tall, and it's difficult. <laughs> I, you know, it's just what it is. I, I'll just never be there. And so with tactical games, what it brings into consideration is, you know, the, the ability to shoot under stress. Right. And or in general. <laughs> in general, right? And it's, it's a nice big component because you can't out-fitness your bad shooting. And Jim right. Pepner is talking about that a lot. Because um, you have to, what, have your heart rate lowered? I, can you explain at some point what dry firing is, by the way? I don't know what that is. And I so, see tactical athletes post about it a lot. Sure. So the difference between dry fire and live fire. Dry fire meaning I have no live ammunition in my gun whatsoever. Uh-huh. You're kind of getting used to the mechanics of how the gun feels, your grip, body positioning, uh, how to reload properly, um, and just kind of get the muscle memory of your gun uh, oh, and, your, and your weapon system Alex. With, with, with no live ammunition, right? And then live fire is obviously the reverse here. But I thought that was bad for the gun. Is that not true? That's not true at all. Uh, for a, if you, if you were to, what we call dry fire a compound bow, you know, it's like oh, bow hunting. Yes. That's what it was. I knew there was something that you weren't supposed to. Yeah. Do you don't. You don't dry fire a bow because it can explode. Oh. Like it'll break. It'll break into a ton of pieces. It can really damage it. Oh my gosh. It's super dangerous. Well, because you have, you know, seventy pounds of pressure, plus going back, going forward at a great velocity, with nothing to let off on it. Explosive. You know, it leaves off on an arrow. Oh. Um, it also has nothing to say. It can damage the limbs. It might not explode. Um, but it can <laughs> really damage the bow. Thomas, we're almost there. We're, we have less than a minute to go. How is that possible? <laughs> All right, Alex, that sounds good. good. I would like that. I'd love to try the tactical games. I just, I. We should get you done. There's, hey, there's a, there's that team one that you and I could do. Male, female, pair team. It's out like South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I would gladly go do that with you. I would love to do that. The problem is I, <laughs> someone is going to have to teach me how to shoot before then. <laughs> hey, hey, Silver lives down the road, right? Yeah. Well, this is he, true. He competes. And it's his job, so he's probably a decent shot, I hope. I think he's, yeah, he, I think he's very, very good shot. I think he, he also works for the sheriff department. Yep. I'm going to finish up this link. Oh, is it 20 minutes? We did it! 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. It's not that bad. So, 45 seconds in, I had, like, a little mental panic a little bit because my knees were burning. Not my knees, my legs. But, you know, once we got into the story, it was good. Oh, let's see you get I'm going. I'm definitely going to feel, like, I could feel, um, I don't know where you fatigue first, but I definitely could feel that in my glutes. Like, the last couple minutes, my glutes were getting, uh, but that could also be, like, because I have old hamstring stuff, but 20 minutes of lunging complete. High fives. <laughs> I, I, I feel good. I honestly feel like I can keep going. I, I could go for another 10 minutes. Well, you have done this a lot. I, I probably like shouldn't, it. but I could. <laughs> uh, well, so 20 minutes done. I'm excited to see how this feels more. I So we started with like our upper body pump in the workout yeah. before this, and now my legs feel like, oh my gosh. What Alex, was your, uh, thanks, Larry. 
What was your <laughs> Matt's heart rate? Diana. Diana, really, it was all Thomas's distraction with the story since I missed the first story entirely. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were on a call. Oh, no, oh no, my no, gosh. No. Oh, Willie, look how far he got. He hit 27. <laughs> Willie got 78 25 foot laps. So Willie did three workouts yesterday, all legs. We finished bullied Willie. Again, good bully. And now he did 20 minutes of farmer's carry. Willie, you need like, you get a crown, not even a gold star, a crown. Oh my gosh. Valerie, I'm so glad you popped in. You know what has, uh, that keeps living on too, Thomas, is King's Rest. That is, it makes me laugh out loud every time someone puts that in the chat or mentions that. If you work hard, you get a king's rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure that's did. my favorite. Oh, Willie, nice job. Thomas, nice job. This challenge, uh, oof, this is fun. But um, definitely, you guys, make sure you do it with a friend uh, or a podcast that is very interesting or tells you stories to distract you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's sometimes you, sometimes music's just not enough. No, no. I would look at my watch way too much for just yeah. music, but that's just me. What what was uh, your max heart rate? I want to say it was like 120 when I started. Oh, because I was like so excited and then I slowed down. Yeah. The slow down it's was great. It's great zone too. Yeah. No, Thomas, so Thomas, you hit the nail on the head. We proved proof of concept to Thomas go. saying Hey, Ellie, I do 20 minutes of lunges and it's zone two. I was like, zone two for lunging that long? No way. <laughs> I mean, I believed you, but I believed that you're well conditioned. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I am. But I'm like, I'm, I'm legit. I mean, I, put, I always put a hoodie on because I'm weird, um, but like I, I'm sweaty and I have a oh, yeah. on. But I, I like the heat. I like doing that. Yeah, and totally. For whatever reason, I, I like it's uncomfortable and I think it's good to make yourself uncomfortable in a controlled environment sometimes. Well, we got to, so guys, we should definitely start doing weekly challenges. I love this. This is super fun. Definitely going to keep doing these lunges because this is fun. So Willie, so, see Thomas, your stories made it go fast for Willie too. Willie said he started. So <laughs> the other uh, test, I want to try the farmer's carry test because I, Ooh, that's something yeah. I need to work on too. So Willie did the farmer's 20 minute farmer's carry challenge while we were lunging. He said he started with 35 pounds and then changed to 30, 25 is 20, and then stuck with that. Um, That's awesome. What, um, I don't know if George gave any detail or if you've done that challenge, Thomas or I've Willie, give us your input. Oh, Valerie, today's challenge, 20 minutes of lunges from Thomas. Again, start with five, even one minute if you have a <laughs> lunge to run. I know you're uh, very familiar with Mayhem Athlete Valerie, so if you want to try 20, you know. Um, just, just pace it. Don't sprint anything. Totally. But with the farmer's carry, so do you have a set time in your head where you're setting these down? Because here's the thing. You're trying to get max distance, but max yeah. hold. So, like, Willie, how often were you setting the dumbbells down? Thomas, same. Explain what you guys <laughs> think when you do the farmer's um, carry. Yeah, I, I usually have a distance in mind that I want to get, you know. And so, and so for me, I kind of think about – uh, competition wise, usually I'm going hundred meters uh, with a mm -hmm. farmer's carry. And so in my mind, I'm like, all right, I need to at least make it a hundred at any given point. So if mm -hmm. I get to a hundred and I feel fresh, I'll try for another hundred. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll rest for uh, my rests are short, mm -hmm. a few seconds. And then I'm back to it, to another hundred. That's going to be so mental. We definitely have to try the farmer's carry challenge. I want to keep this. How, so how often do you do the lunge challenge, the zone two lunge? I do it twice a week. Twice a week? Yeah. You, your, your legs get pretty used to it after a while to where it's, okay. it's like, let's say I'll do, I'll do one weighted like today and then another one is yeah. just plain body weight. Um, do you feel like the, it gets a pump in your legs? Like, do you feel like your, your legs have to be stronger? Oh, I, so, so I legitimately feel like my legs are stronger. Yeah. They have to be. I mean, yeah. but do you have any other knee stuff? Do you deal with any knee stuff? No, I mean, so like I had... I've had a bad left knee. Like I've torn my MCL a handful of times, my meniscus once, and had and had uh, meniscal surgery when I was. Oh 19. my gosh. Um, so so yeah. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I've had knee issues, but mm -hmm. I feel like I've never had because I never I never stopped squatting, and and, and I don't mm -hmm. know if there's any truth to that or not, but like to me, it, it, I, I try to do as much 
like yes. still squat, right? And so, and yes. I think living in Korea obviously helped with that because they're always sitting in a squat all the time. Oh, true. Um, you guys, make sure if you did the lunch challenge, by the way, Thomas, keep continue on. Make sure you yeah. go for about a five minute cool down. It can be a, just a walk. It can be a spin on a bike. It can be anything, but just want to shake that out. Um, and Willie said he did about three to four laps each time with a quick rest. That's, That's just good. crazy in a good way, Willie. Holy mackerel. 78 25 foot laps that is wow okay thomas continue on sorry i just wanted no, to no, make sure everyone was cooling down uh, i, I would be marching as we you know how much i love cooling down <laughs> i know you're sitting i'm like how can you sit after lunging for 20 minutes yeah, make fine. sure you guys get some sort of movement in willie definitely yes. uh be shaking out those arms if you have um a rower willie in um your office gym, maybe I'm not even talking like real pulling. I'm talking like just do a minute or so of like just flushing out those arms. Yep. But, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like just cause I always remained active. My knees mm -hmm. has just never been bad. I've yeah. never had pain in them luckily. And I, and I, I don't know. I, I think that's, I don't know. I don't know what that, what that speaks to, whether it's just being active or, or, or just yeah. blessed <laughs> that, I, that my knees healed sure. up right. Yeah. <laughs> Willie says uh, his arms are a few inches longer after that. Willie, you, hey. you know, time to join the basketball team, right? <laughs> Got the arms stretched out from farmer's yeah. carries. George oh, is saying wow. for him, it was his traps. And he said today, oh, too, his traps the, are absolutely smoked. The grip, that sounds... I had chalk. Ooh. So when I did it, I made sure I had chalk nearby. So I chalk up and carry and then... I mean, how right. about duct tape? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that might be even easier because then it's just hanging on your joints. It's not even a grip issue anymore. Yeah. It's, but yeah. Like, I mean, if you can do dumbbells, you're you're a little better off because you can hook grip dumbbells. Mm, true. Um, if you, I did kettlebells and they're they're oh. bigger and thicker, mm -hmm. and you can't hook grip it. So for me, and that's why I was I was talking to I was talking to I was talking to George. He's like, "Oh, it's my traps." I'm like, man, my grip is my grip because I had the kettlebell, yeah. huge, ginormous, freaking. Oh, and they're so kettlebells are slick. They are slick. Yeah, and I mean that's why I had chalk nearby all yeah, the time. Yeah, I would. I'd be on the dumbbell train. Good job, Willie. I'm glad you're cooling down. Well, Thomas, this was so fun. Thank you for uh, challenging all of us to this lunge challenge. I'm definitely going to try to do 20 minutes of this in my my zone two regimen each week, assuming the knees hold up. Um, <sighs> Might mix it up with some step back lunges, but you're right. Like it was totally a different, I mean, it's how I feel about running on the air runner versus running outside. They're both good for you, but they're definitely a little bit different than one another. Same with the lunging, but this weird Thomas, we're going to be ready next week for our new Thomas challenge. Or if anyone wants to try the lunge challenge. <laughs> I'm all, I'm always down to do more lunges, but yeah, we can, I can, I think, I think 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute. <laughs> uh cardio challenges are good it's just you know it's something, that, something, this something, is gonna something, be something to so break fun. up the running yeah i feel like the tribe will be totally on board with this Di bye diana we hope you feel better yes diana i have that knee stuff for you too thomas she said that you gave her hope with her acl injury that she can try this sometime. oh yeah Go oh on. my gosh and we have to do our we have a bar hang challenge next monday thomas i don't know if you know but diana can hang from a bar for like an hour <laughs> not an hour but a really long time so uh we're gonna do that on monday and i'll just work on our max bar hang dude there's some people who are just freaks at bar hangs i mean we're right? working with rock climbers they'll mm -hmm. get on these hang boards with just two fingers and hang for minutes at a time and i'm like i can't even hang for oh, 20 seconds it, with two fingers same i watched free solo and like i was i couldn't even i still can't oh my mind alex honnold he's, he's a nice yeah. dude like, really he just nice. doesn't even you know him Oh my gosh, yeah, that's he's, unreal. He's, I've, I've met him a few times um, because he's one of our athletes. But yeah, he has, he's super, he's super nice, super cool dude. Uh, really funny, really big hands. He has really, really? big hands uh, for, for and, and it, it like shocks you actually. Mm -hmm. When you meet him, you shake his hand, you're like, holy crap. Like you he's... think a climber would have actually smaller hands yeah. because it needs to fit in those things. But um, I just can't like truly wrapping your head around like, I mean, we know everyone knows like watching sports and, you know, anything in general, like it, most things are a little more challenging than they appear. Like, I guess what I'm saying is professionals make things that are hard look very easy. 
right? We know that. So mm -hmm. watching someone hang off of the side of a mountain where every single move is, is death defying, like I can't even wrap my head around that. And like, I mean, it's just talk about extreme. And I know people know that, but holy mackerel. Dana, let me preface this. I know Alex. Alex does not know me by name. Okay. <laughs> Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex and I know each other because of work. Mm -hmm. And so I've met him a handful of times because of work. And, but if you went up to Alex and go, Hey, you know, Tom's going to go, no, <laughs> that's, that's that. When I say I know Alex, I know I've talked hey, to him. That's he totally. I, I had mean, to preface that. You never know what ends up going on the internet. And then all of a sudden I get, I'm getting called to HR going, hey, Alex. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, is he by. is he retired from climbing or is he still um he still climbs okay he still climbs he um he does a lot of uh, at least from the so he was out a couple of weeks ago for for something for us but um mm -hmm. from my understand yosemite is where he goes a lot and he climbs with a, a guy another famous climber named tommy caldwell and so yeah he's is that still, the guy that was in the movie with him uh yep tommy was in the movie okay. with him Tommy's missing fingers. If you ever see him, he's missing fingers. Um, from what? Uh, oh, the same thing everyone misses fingers from. Table saws. No, I thought you were going to mm -hmm. say frostbite. No. <laughs> Table saws. I don't know what he was building, but, but yeah, he, cut, he cut his fingers. And he still climbs. Good for yeah, him. He, That's cool. He's extremely good, right? But, um, Diana, but no, he, check he, out the rest of it now. he still climbs. I don't know. I don't know if he's working on like a specific project like he was on on mm -hmm. Free Solo. Um, you know, they just had a kid too. He's a dad now. Mm. Um, but I don't. I don't know if that if that changes anything. Uh, I mean, with his mindset, I have no idea. I, I should have asked him. That would have been a great question. Yeah, I mean, um, that would have been a really good question sure. that I didn't, I didn't think about. So if I next time I see him, I think I see him like once a year. But if next time I see him, I'll I'll, I'll try to get that that question asked to him. But <laughs> well, um, and you know, when you introduce yourself again, you say you don't just say I'm Thomas. You say I'm the Thomas, and I'm then the it will differentiate you Maybe. if he ever meets any other Thomases. So. If anyone from there also meets him, you go, oh, it's the Thomas. You know the Thomas? And he'll go, probably still no. Um, but but no, I mean, all, all those, we, they're, I mean, again, rock climbing company, we, we associate with some, well, a lot of rock climbers, but they're all, I don't, I don't get how they do it. I, I'm terrified of I heights, so we go climbing for work and I just, I hang out. I'll That's go cool. boulder. I, I will boulder. I won't, I won't climb. Bouldering mm -hmm. usually tops out about 20 feet and you're not hooked up to anything. And for well, whatever wait. reason, that that scares me less than being hooked up and falling two inches if I'm like top rope climbing or something. But right. I don't know. Well, we need a tribe a uh, tribe adventure trip to Utah, and you can show Ooh. us the uh, the ropes. Utah's such a fun like Utah's fitness place. playground for sure. That's true. You could you could ski, climb, and golf all in one day if you did it right. Okay, that is awesome. I'm a 100 in on that. <laughs> it's, it's 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 wild. We have the most snow. I think we have the most snow. I don't want to say in the world, but I know in North America right now. It's like a lot. Like you have guys have some crazy statistics. I remember it's, reading something like it's crazy, right? And it's good because we're mm. in. We were in such a severe drought because we had no snow for like three years. But mm. um, and we're getting more snow. Like we're living in snow today, and we're getting more snow this week and next week. Oh and my that's just it's so crazy. And every, it's spring everywhere else. Oh it's my gosh, spring everywhere else. Man, I just have to come to Tennessee, I guess, if I want some sunshine. Fair. Well, it's kind of gray today, but yes, in the in the summertime. Yeesh. Well, Thomas, thank you for this. Thank you for this challenge. Thank you, thank crew, you. for hanging out and uh, cheering us on and listening to these stories. We have the 20-minute lunge challenge on the table this week, guys. I know, Valerie, I need warmth. I need some sunshine. Uh, but Thomas will come up with another challenge next week. We have a max hang on Monday. I'm going to keep doing these lunges if everyone wants to keep doing these lunges, Thomas crew, all of it. <laughs> we'll, we'll just have our, our, our lunge and talk. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Diana says she's in on all of it. Not scared. What is, what's parapento, Diana? Thomas, what's parapento? Parapento? This was know. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to Google this. I know, <laughs> I know, I know Patagonia. I don't know Parapet. Oh, okay. Willie, have an awesome day. Amazing work on the farmers carry. Twenty minute farmers carry in the pump sesh. Just getting it all done, Willie. Willie's gonna.
be the Master Games athlete in no time. Yes, Valerie, heck yes. Well, Valerie, if knees are a question, A, you can shorten the time domain, and B, you can also do uh, the 20-minute farmer's carry challenge that Willie just Oh, paragliding. Parag oh. Spanish. oh. Spanish. Spanish. Parapento is Spanish oh. to paragliding. And I think that's what Diana, you are there. so fearless. Diana paragliding is fearless. Paragliding is terrifying. Terrifying. That sounds terrifying. Valerie, let us Good. know how the challenge goes, whatever one you pick. Paragliding, I, you, I don't you can do that. You can do that in Utah, too. To, you, oh, my gosh. Well, see, there we go. Adventure. We're coming to Utah. I, I did it Diana, once. Diana, you're going to have to push me off the side of a cliff to, to paraglide, but I'll do it if you push me. So it's it's, <laughs> that, it's it sounds so fun. I bet it's so beautiful. I think back to it. It wasn't bad. For someone who is scared of heights, it wasn't you, bad. You have paraglided? Yeah, I, yes. And my wife was furious, not because not because it was dangerous, because she didn't get to do it. <laughs> she she was pregnant That's with awesome. her first kid. And so no paragliding for her. No par and so she really wants to go paragliding and she really wants to go skydiving, which I will not do. There's no reason to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Yeah, I'm I'm on board there. And yeah. it terrifies me. And so I, I forgot why we did it, but like I I do remember being extremely too, scared. Yeah, but, I did sounds. But it was, I, I I think the I think the like in my mind I was like we're gonna run and jump and it's a slant down mm -hmm. so it wasn't like a drop off and I was like well if we fall it's fine like I'm yeah. I'm falling 10, 20 feet like whatever like oh maybe I break gosh. maybe I break like but then you're up and you're cruising and you're going over and I'm like oh my gosh and then it was like. We're going to land, so, like, you need to make sure you use your feet to land. Because I guess he was saying some people, whether they're scared or they don't understand, will keep their legs and they'll just, poof, like, belly flop oh it into the, into, the, into the dirt because they're not ready. Well, but anyway. now Diana just has to keep throwing out more adventures for us. Valerie, you have a blessed That's day, wild. too. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll have to write all of this down. All of it. We'll do it all. I did all oh, right. Jeez, Diana, that is so cool. She's a skydive too. You guys are amazing. Holy man. Diana's wild. So much. Uh, well, so our next live, Diana, I'm saving these stories because you're going to tell us about paragliding and skydiving on our next challenge. You can tell us mm -hmm. these stories. I need to hear all of them. Yes. <laughs> all right, crew. Thomas, this is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys, thank you thank for you. hanging out today. It was so fun having you guys here and hearing all these stories. We will for sure do this again next week. We'll see what everyone's schedule is. Thomas, come up with a challenge. We'll be back at it. Cool. See you. All right, thank you. Crew. Have an awesome afternoon and evening, Thomas. Thanks again. And we will see you guys tomorrow.